I don't think the American people could be louder or clearer of this election, then they're fed up and somebody needs to respond. William Spriggs, chief economist to the AFL-CIO and professor and former chair of the Department of Economics at Howard University and immediately the last assistant secretary for policy to the U.S. Department of Labor. We have big problems of inequality in the United States. The housing collapse particularly hit the African-American and Latino markets the worst. Those markets have not recovered. Home construction isn't where it should be. Heavy construction is picking back up, but it's not where it needs to be. We're running a huge deficit when you think about the depreciation of infrastructure. We're leaving to our children an enormous debt that they may never be able to pay. This is the first time the United States has ever slowed in expenditures for K through 12. We have always held elementary school education, high school education as almost sacrosanct. We're always going to at least protect our investment in our children. We allowed that to dip. We haven't fully recovered on that investment. And when it comes to higher, and higher education, we've totally deinvested. We, without a political debate about it, have switched higher education from a public good to a private good. This is a, a total calamity. Um, it, it means that we're going to exacerbate inequality in the United States. And that means we're going to slow growth. Right now for the United States, infrastructure isn't something that would be positive. It's a necessity. Uh, we cannot continue to build up this deficit for our children. They are going to be strapped with how are we going to replace the roads and bridges and water systems. Uh, they will not be able to afford it. And so this has to happen. Now, it's complicated because we also need it to get growth back to a more positive position. We need a faster pace of growth and we need incomes to grow. So we need high wage jobs to be created, not low wage jobs. We've succeeded at creating low wage jobs, but we need more high wage jobs and that can only take place through investment and investment in things like infrastructure. My hope out of this election is that uh, politicians understand the economy is supposed to be a servant of the people with this level of frustration, with inequality where it is. Americans don't want to return to some middle road where we just repeat what we've been doing. They know that means they're not going to be treated fairly. I hope that people will go to the AFL-CIO blog. It's easy to find, www.aflcio.org.